Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Design of different structures using STID Pro Introduction to STID Pro STID Pro was originally developed by Research Engineers International in Yorba Linda, California. In late 2005 Research Engineer International was bought by Bentley Systems. STID Pro is a structural analysis design program software. It includes a state-of-the-art user interface, visualization tools, and international design codes. It is used for 3D model generation, analysis, and multi-material design. The commercial version of STID Pro supports several steel, concrete, and timber design codes. It is one of the software applications created to help structural engineers to automate their tasks and to remove the tedious and long procedures of the manual methods. Types of Structure A truss structure consists of truss members which can have only axial member forces and no bending in the members. A plane structure is bound by a global exacoordinate system with loads in the same plane. A space structure, which is a three-dimensional framed structure with loads applied in any plane, is the most general. A floor structure is a two or three-dimensional structure having no horizontal, global X or Z. Movement of the structure FX, FZ and MI are restrained at every joint. The floor framing, in global X's plane, of a building is an ideal example of a FLOR structure. Columns can also be modeled with the floor in a floor structure as long as the structure has no horizontal loading. If there is any horizontal load, it must be analyzed as a SPACE structure. Advantages of STID Pro Software The many advantages of structural engineering design software STID Pro is analyze, design structural members of building viz, beams, columns, foundation and walls. STID Pro is Bentley Systems product. The visual interface is very user-friendly. Materials made of steel, stainless steel, concrete, and aluminum can be used. Ready-made models are imported to STID from built-in wizard. Dimensions are edited as per our requirements. STID Pro is featured with the designs that use the US codes, the British codes, Euro codes, Canadian codes, Japanese codes, and nuclear codes. We can see the rendered view of all the modeled elements in 3D for good understanding of structure. STID Pro shows accurate results in the measurement of shear force and bending moment. STID Pro does not involve any manual calculation, hence, it saves time and increases efficiency. STID Pro helps the engineers in improving the structure, section, and dimensions. 
Stud Pro offers faster methods of designing the structure. Stud Pro is ideal for measuring a wide range of loads, such as live load, dead load, wind load, snow load, area load, or floor load. Stud Pro is sophisticated and multi-featured structural designing software. It offers an open architecture open STAAD. Stud Pro Shortcut Keys List of Stud Pro shortcut keys which are very regularly used. Shift K Highlight Nodes Shift N Node Numbers Shift B Beam Numbers Shift R Releases Shift E Beam Start and End Point Shift S Supports Shift O Orientation of Beam Shift X Highlight Properties Control C Copy Control V Paste Shortcut Keys for Plates Shift P Plate Numbers Shift T Plate Orientation Shift V Load Values Shift M Materials Basic Interface of STUD Design of Framed Structure Using STUD Pro Here, we are going to design a framed structure, for this we have to follow these steps to do this. Step 1 Open the STUD Pro New, New File, Space Create file name equals project name, location equals where we want to save the project. Length unit equals meter, force unit equals kilo newton click on next. See figure. Step 2, here we will select what we need to perform on the interface of STID. Select add beam and click on finish. Step 3, here we will define the position of the nodes. Click on geometry and start adding nodes. Node X Y Z length M M M Then close the node, X. You see the node point on the screen? How to find the node numbers, click mouse left side, click labels, diagrams, structure, node number and node point, apply, OK. Or to see the node number press shift plus N. Step 4, Translation Repeat Method. Select Node Crusher. First selects all node point click Geometry Translational repeat 3D repeat Global direction Y No of steps 1 Default step spacing 3M OK To see the display of node after translation repeat and joining the nodes the framed structure will look like this. Step 5, to join the node points click on geometry then click add beam and add beam from point to point select the node point and join all node point like framed structure. Diagram showing the beam with the number. To see the beam numbers we can use shortcut key shift plus B. Step 6, 
here we will assign the following details one by one. Material Property Support Load Analysis for Material Click on Modeling then click on General then click on Material then it will show Properties Whole Structure then select the material we want, Concrete, then select the Assign to View then click on Assign and last click on Yes. Property click on modeling then general then switch to property then select define then the property page will appear select the type and dimensions, rectangle yd.23 meter zd. 0.23 meter, click on add close the property window then click on assign to view then click on assign then click on yes. After assigning the material and property it will look like, as shown in below figure. Now, we are going to assign the supports and loads. Support Click on modeling then move to general click on support it will open interface named support whole structure as shown in figure. Then click on create select the type of support we needed here we select pin then click on add after adding select the support to then select the node point from framed structure then click on assign to selected nodes click on assign then yes. Select the node point from framed structure then click on assign to selected nodes click on assign then yes. After assigning it will look like as shown in figure. Loads Click on modeling then general after that click on load after that select click load case details. After that click on add it will open a window named add new load cases after that we will add load cases. Adding load case 1 Adding load case 2. Then select the load case 1 A and D add then assign the self weight click on add and then close. Then select load case 2 C L I C K on add then select the member and type of load here we select, uniform force W L having magnitude of equals 2 kn slash m click on add and then close. Select load which we want to assign, unigy 2 kn slash m, then select the beam parallel to x axis then click on assign selected beam click on assign then yes. After assigning all the loads, material we are now going to analyze the beam. Analysis click on modeling then click on analysis print click on all then click on add then close. Go to analyze tab and click run analysis click on save and see the output result. On clicking run analysis it will look like this as shown in figure. After this click on view output file it will show the result. The output will be like. Click the beam see the result on beam. Shear force diagram. Bending moment diagram. Deflection diagram. Shear force diagram for beam number 1. Bending moment diagram for beam number 1 C figure. Deflection diagram for the beam number 1 C figure. Post processing. Click on post processing it will open a interface named result setup then select load case and click on OK. New screen will be displayed then click on animation select deflection click OK F12 to see full screen of deflection.
Click on Result tab then select the bending moment after that scroll the mouse to see the whole structure bending moment diagram. Click on the Result tab the Select the Section Displacement then scroll the mouse to see the whole structure section displacement diagram. Click on Result select the Beam Stress then select any one beam then open 3D Beam Stress Contour displayed and distance to be provided the beam click on Add to Stress Table and the values to be noted. Beam click on graphs select the load case it will show beam graphs see the diagram. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.